I'm back at Alton Towers for two half days of summer fun. So how is Alton Towers coping with the August crowd? Can they get all the roller coasters open or will the weather ruin everything? Join me in this vlog and we'll find out if the UK's top rated theme park lives up to the hype. So it's an Alton Towers kind of day. As you can see behind me, they're celebrating 10 years of CBeebies out on the green here in front of the castle. So we did a sort of off the cuff trip to Thorpe Park last week, expecting it to be insanely busy. Actually, they managed the queues really well. So I'm interested to see how Alton Towers handles the crowds. Got to say, early signs looking at the app are not good with nearly all major coasters being on around an hour wait. So we're gonna see how we can plow through these and, and get on some rides. So I'm going to begin my afternoon with a quick run through on Curse at Alton Manor. This is only on a five minute wait, whereas most other things are on 50 minutes plus. Also 13 and Oblivion currently closed. So hopefully they reopen and it spreads things out a bit. But for the time being, let's go get cursed. Well, a swift walk on run through of Curse at Alton Manor there and quite a few effects not working that time. Lots of sections that were darker than normal and the Trommel Tunnel didn't work, which is always disappointing, but still good to get back on it. But yeah, you'd hope to see a few more of the effects operating when you're in the height of summer. Well, Nemesis Reborn is rocking a 40 minute queue, which is not too horrendous for the summer holidays. So obviously I've jumped in here. Still my favorite ride here at Alton Towers. Let's see if that rattle has dissipated slightly and if the ride experience is creeping back up to OG Nemesis levels. Well, I managed to spawn a front row on Nemesis Reborn there, right hand side. And unfortunately that was the worst ride I've had since it reopened. So much judder all over the place. There was a dead spot through the middle where it kind of sorted itself out a bit, but the start and the end, it was juddering all over the place. And I'm left wondering what has happened to B&M. They were the stalwarts of the smooth roller coaster. And yet in recent times, they seem to be struggling to maintain that reputation. So what do you think of Nemesis Reborn? Do you think this matches the original? Personally, I don't think the ride experience is anywhere near. And sadly, every time I ride it, it drops further and further down my rankings. So hopefully they can fix the issues here. If it is because of the sand film track, then unfortunately I think we're just gonna have to live with it. It's a shame because it is such a legendary and iconic ride. What they've done with it, it looks fantastic. It just doesn't ride as well. And that makes me a bit sad. Hello, is everything okay? Everything is just perfectly fine and under control. There is absolutely nothing. Nothing to worry about at all, yeah? There is nothing. All right, cool. I think I've grown an extra finger. An extra finger? Yeah. Who has? Uh, I saw someone in there, he had more fingers than he should have had. Okay, that's good. Uh, that's oh. completely normal. It's this completely is normal, normal. all right, okay. okay. Brilliant, okay. no worries, thank you. And just beyond there, we have more work on Project Ocean. So the good news in terms of ride availability is that Oblivion and 13 have now both opened. Fortunately, Rita's gone down, so still not had a full collection of roller coasters operating so far today. And like magic, here I am at Oblivion. It's a 20 minute queue. Let's go do some vertical action. Well, good to get back on Oblivion for my first ride of the season there. That vertical drop does pack such a punch and I did go against convention and look down despite the instruction not to, because I'm such a rebel. Also really good to see that they're loading the full station, which is something I've not seen for years, mainly because I usually come on off-peak days, but yeah, overall really good. Oblivion's the original dive coaster, so it's a great attraction to have here at Alton Towers. Well, where there once were rides is now food stalls and we've got Fish and chips, we've got a bar, shock burgers, and free full pizza. Not sure if the long-term plan is to put some more attractions in here, but at least they've done something with the space for this season.
So as I head past Spinball Whizzer, just worth noting that this is actually going to close for a few days in September to install a single rider line and not a moment too soon. So just heading out from all Towers after my afternoon here, I will be back tomorrow morning though for a few more hours, which for you is going to be in literally seconds. So see you shortly. Well, via the magic of editing, here I am back at all Towers for day two. Unfortunately, that magic also brought appalling weather. So yeah, thanks magic. Well, the weather has not deterred the crowds and already early on the queues are building. Currently, Oblivion and Wicker Man are both down. I'm going to hit the Dark Forest and see if I can get some 13 and Rita action. Is there two of the more temperamental rides on resort? Well, Hex would be the perfect attraction in this weather. Unfortunately, still closed. <laughs> Yeah, but who buy and what were their standards? Well, so 13 it is, 20 minute queue, that's not too bad. I kind of figured one of them would go down, they're not the most reliable. Well, 13 in the rain was, was all right. I mean, of all the roller coasters doing the rain, that's probably one of the better ones because there is a substantial section indoors. Um, the first drop could be so good if they wasn't trimmed. Like you really do get quite a nice pull down there and then just hit the trims and slow down again but overall I think that's a really good roller coaster it's obviously family focused there's no problem with that but it does a lot of different things to anything else we have over here and uh, I respect that well Rita doesn't have a time it simply says reopening so I'm gonna go and investigate the queue line try and get a ride on this while we're here this one might sting a little bit in the rain <laughs> getting launched at 66 miles an hour directly into water it's not always the most comfortable but hey let's do it Well, good to get back on Rita and jumped in the queue at the right time there and waited around 15 minutes. And also the rain subsided slightly about five minutes before I got on too. So couldn't have asked for much more than that. Whenever I ride Rita, I always think I wish it had lap bars because that jab to the neck on the first bend is slightly frustrating. But it's still a fun ride. It just, it lacks the airtime that it would have with better restraints, that's all. But you know, not to 60 miles an hour. It's always going to be a fun launch. So that's the Dark Forest completed. I'm now going to head in the direction of Wicker Man. That's apparently on a 35 minute queue and X Sector's out of bounds because both Oblivion and Smiler are down. So Wicker Man it is. It's always worth taking a moment just to appreciate that we do have these incredible tower ruins just here in the middle of a UK theme park. It's uh, quite spectacular really. Of course, another unique selling point for Orton Towers is their spectacular gardens. And this summer we have Pims and Prosecco on the menu too, along with some new ice cream. Hi, I'm Gavin Price and you should like this video and subscribe to Loop Theme Park Adventures. Well, during that short walk, an extra 15 minutes got added, but nonetheless, Wicker Man it is. It's good to get back on Wicker Man, the GCI Woody here at Alton Towers. Bit of a longer wait than expected there. It was advertised as 50, I'd say it was probably 65 to 70 in the end. Really hacking around the course, having had a bit of rain today, it's really sped the track up a little bit. And it's a, just a really solid wooden coaster. One of the best rides here, I'd say. And great to see Big Bob with his flames back because he'd lost his spark for a little while. Well, I've just had some lunch in the pizza past the buffet. It's 21 pounds this year. However, with annual pass discount, that comes down to 16.80, which is uh, not too bad for all you can eat pizza and pasta and drink. Now just jumped into the queue for Congo River Rapids for my first ride of the season. The Congo River Rapids are very tame these days. It's great to see they put the waterfalls back on and a few of the other elements, but you don't really get that wet at all, which I don't mind because I've been soaked enough today. Katanga Canyon still has probably the best old school Alton Towers music though. I can't help but get pangs of nostalgia whenever I walk through this section of the park. And here we have the CBB stage where they're holding CBB's house party to celebrate their 10 years of CBB's land. I've got a few bits going on through here as well. There's some guys juggling and stuff a minute ago. I don't know if this is practicing or this is some sort of act. Oh yeah, all quite cool through here. If CBBS is your vibe. 
so that concludes my two sort of half days here at Alton Towers Resort. I think it is a park that in the height of summer is a bit more challenging to navigate, especially while the sky ride is out of commission this season. You do find yourself doing a lot of walking, a lot of waiting and not a great deal of riding. That being said, I did manage to get on all of the major coasters apart from Smiler and Galactica. Galactica through choice and Smiler because it's had an awful lot of downtime. So when it has been open, it's had a really long queue. As I leave the park, actually all of the major thrill coasters are open and operating all at the same time. So that's great to see that they've kind of got their operations in order here. But I'm going to leave it there for now. Behind me, the frogs are saying subscribe to the channel. That's just what frogs do. It's like in their nature. And um, why not go and watch my vlog from Thought Park last week and compare kind of how that operated on a busy summer day compared to Alton Towers. And I shall catch you soon. Cheers. Bye.